The use of electric bikes has become increasingly popular in Guyana and have been a great relief for persons like Tanisha Biswa, a single mother of three. Biswa lives at Vredenhoop on the west coast of Demerara but works in Georgetown. She told the newsroom that she bought her bike about a year ago and it has helped her significantly. But now there are discussions about limiting the use of these bikes in public spaces, among other policies which are being crafted by the government. So how would you feel about the new rules that would come into play that would um Well, I don't think they should get though because it's just like a bicycle, it's not a motorcycle, like a motorbike. The cycle has helped you a lot because passage is going to be expensive because of um, gas race and it's really helped you. The policy to govern the use of these bikes is being drafted by the Ghana Police Force, the National Road Safety Council and the Ghana Revenue Authority. Among the rules being developed is an age limit for the use of these bikes. No person under 16 will be able to use these bikes. Only one person will be allowed on the bikes. It must be registered. Persons must adhere to the recommended weight limit. A helmet should be used and the rider must also possess a valid driver's license. Well, some of our concerns is that the, um, the age of the kids that are riding them, they are riding, they, they are being ridden in, in public spaces. Um, they don't follow none of the rules of the road um, because they're a small vehicle. They tend to go through all these small, small areas um, between, between trucks and, and um, high vehicles. That was Ramona Dorjan the coordinator for the National Road Safety Council, who is very concerned about the use of these bikes in busy and congested public spaces. At the council, we does not want to make anybody uncomfortable or unhappy. Um, the bikes are there for use of um, easing persons in different types of burdens, but then also we wouldn't call for a ban of them. We will call out for a ban of them to be used in public spaces in busy public spaces. Meanwhile, a patient assistant at the Georgetown Public Hospital, Narissa Lane, is happy that the government is now moving to regulate the use of the electric bikes. It has benefited me so well because it helped me to economize with economic, financial wise. And so far it's become useful to me because it's better to me with the traffic and so forth. I get to reach up early and so forth. I have no problem with the rules because it can be better for us electric users in case we end up to accident or so forth, we could be able to have something to represent ourselves. So I wouldn't mind with the rules, but I would be glad if they could be able to make a way so we could get through faster with these documents they want us. It must be noted that electric bikes are not motor vehicles and so it is not catered for in the laws. As such, until the new rules are introduced and implemented, the police force cannot charge or arrest anyone using them. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.